guys, 6th standard science, term 3, unit 1, magnetism, book back evaluation. Let's start. First Roman letter, choose the appropriate questions. First question, on object that is attracted by magnet. Option A, wooden piece. B, plain paints. C, eraser. D, a piece of paper. Answer is B, plain paints. Second question, People who made mariner's compass for the first time. Option A. Indians. B. Europeans. C. Chinese. D. Egyptians. Answer is C. Chinese. Third question. A freely suspended magnet always comes to rest in the dash direction. Option A. Northeast. B. Southwest. C. East-West. D. North-South. Answer is D. North-South. Fourth question, magnets lose their properties when they are Option A, used B, stored C, hit with a hammer D, cleaned Answer is C, hit with a hammer Fifth question, mariner's compass is used to find the dash First option, speed B, displacement C, direction D, motion Answer is C, direction Room letter 2 fill in the blanks. First question Artificial magnet are made in different shapes such as dash, dash, and dash. Bar magnet, ring magnet, horseshoe magnet. Second question The material which are attracted towards the magnet are called dash. Magnetic substances. Third question Paper is not a dash material, magnetic material. Fourth question In olden days, Slayer used to find direction by suspending a piece of dust. Lodestone. Fifth question. A magnet always has dust poles. Two poles. Roman letter 3. True or false? If false, give the correct statement. First question. A cylindrical magnet has only one pole. The statement is wrong. Answer is two poles. Second question. Similar poles of a magnet ripple each other. Answer is correct. Third question. Maximum iron filling stick in the middle of your bar magnet when it is bought near them. The statement is wrong. Look at the first line. Replace the middle of your bar magnet with poles of your bar magnet. Fourth question. A compass can be used to find east-west direction at any place. Answer is correct. Fifth question. Rubber is a magnetic material. The statement is wrong. Rubber is a non-magnetic material. Roman letter 4 match the following. First question. Compass. Magnetic needle. Second one. Attraction. Opposite poles. Third one. Ripples and like poles. Fourth one. Magnetic poles. Maximum magnetic strength. Answer is 4321. Roman letter 5. Circle the add one and give reasons. First question. Iron nail, pins, rubber tube, needle. Answer is rubber tube. Second one. Lift, escalator, electromagnetic train, electric bulb. Answer is electric bulb. Third one. Attraction, repulsion, pointing direction, illumination. Answer is illumination. Roman letter 6. The following diagram show two magnets near one another. Use the words attract, ripple, turn around to describe what happens in each case. The answer. Answer is marked below each options. Look and mark. Roman letter 7. Write down the names of substances. First picture. Substances attracted by magnets. Which object is attracted by a magnet? The first example, plain pins, hairpins, needle, door lock, iron rod, nickel, safety pin, cobalt. Okay. Next picture, substances not attracted by magnet. Example, chalk piece, glass, rubber, eraser, plastic box, ebonate, plastic toy car, wooden pieces. Roman letter 8, give short answer. First question, explain the attraction and repulsion between magnetic poles. Answer, page number 6, 2 lines above activity 2. Unlike poles, attract each other. Like poles, ripple each other. Second question, 
A students who checked some magnets in the school laboratory found out that their magnetic force is worn out. Give three reasons for that. Answer page number six. First line in one point eight. Magnet lose their properties if they are heated or dropped from a height or hit with a hammer. Roman letter nine answer in detail. First question. You are provided with an iron needle. How will you magnetize it? Answer page number six. Activity two. Take a piece of iron and place it on the table. Now take a power magnet and place one of its poles near one edge of the piece of iron and drop from one end to another end without changing the direction of the pole of the magnet. Repeat the process for thirty to forty times. Bring a pin or some iron filling near the piece of iron to check whether it has become a magnet until now uh, ninth roman first question second question how does the electromagnetic train work answer page number 10 first line electromagnets are used in electromagnetic train electromagnets are magnetized only when current flow through them when the direction of current is changed the poles of the electromagnetic are also changed like poles of the magnet which are attached it at the bottom of the train and train track repel each other so the train is lifted from the track up to a height of 10 cm we know that we can move any magnetic object with the force of attraction or repulsion properties of magnets the train is also moves with the help of the magnets attached on the side of track and the magnets fitted at the bottom sideway of the train by controlling the current we can control the magnets and movement of the train until now second question 10th roman question based on higher order thinking skills first question you are provided with iron filling and a bar magnet without labeling the poles of the magnet using this first one how will you identify the poles of the magnet answer page number 4 below that picture first line the part of a magnet those attract the largest amount of iron filling or called as its poles b question which part of the bar magnet attracts more iron fillings why Answer page number four, last four lines. The attractive force of the magnet is very large, near two ends. These two ends are called its poles. Second question: Two bar magnets are given in the figure A and B. By the property of attraction, identify the north pole and the south pole in the bar magnet B. Answer is so simple. Unlike poles, attract. So figure B, first column, south. Second column, north. That's all. Third question: Take a glass of water with a few pins inside. How will you take out the pins without dipping your hands into water? Answer: Take a bar magnet, tight it in a thread, tip the tightened magnet into the glass of water. The pins are attracted by the magnet. Now take out the magnet from the glass of water. Collect the pins from the magnet. Thanks for watching my channel.